I would like to use this video to show you how to convert a surface body into a solid body. I was in Autodesk Fusion 360 the other day and downloaded a step file. It came in, but it acted kind of kind of weird. So I went in and cut a section through it and found out it was hollow. I then went back and took a look at it and found out it was a surface body with 289 surfaces. Well, I need to repair it into a solid body. So I'm going to turn off my analysis. I'm going to go to another part to explain this a little further. This is a solid block. If I cut a section through it, you'll see it is solid. Turning off that section, let's turn it into a surface. So to do this, you basically remove any face. In the patch environment, I'm going to go to unstitch. Unstitch one of the faces. Take off chaining if it's on and pick on one face and say OK. That one face now has been has been unstitched from the rest of the block. If I click on it and delete it, you'll see the part is hollow. If I look at my section, it's also hollow. Now, so that's the idea. All the rest of the block is stitched together, but when one face is removed, it becomes a surface. To fix this, which we need to do on the other part, simply create a patch. Be sure your enable chaining is on and pick on the edge. We have the face back, but it's still hollow. Why? Because we need to stitch it back together. Pick the overall block, which was not unstitched before, and the one face that you just added. Now it becomes a solid. Let's move back to our other part. In this part, we need to determine where there's a break. So, the best way to do that is go to the patch environment, pick stitch, and put a window, left click and drag around the whole thing. It will find the arrows. This one has two. See the little red dots? They look like dots, but they're not. But concentrate on one. I'm about to use this one first and say cancel. Now, I use F4. I have my fusion set up like Inventor, so I can zoom up and then I can center it by clicking once and then rotate around until I find the hole. There it is up inside there. So now I need to use the patch environment. So create a patch, be sure your chaining is on, and pick on an edge. It puts a patch over it. Say OK as a new body. Now you'll see we have 289 in the major part and one patch I just made. Stitch those together. Pick on the overall body and the one patch you just added and say OK. Now we have 290 surfaces in this main body because of the one we just added. So zoom back out and do another stitch to find the other one. With a window, there's the other one cancel and zoom up on that one as well. Hold down my F4, center it up and rotate around till I find it. Hmm, where is it? It's somewhere in there. Let's see. It is right There it is. So click in the background. There's my hole right there. So I go to patch. Pick on the edges. Again, be sure it's chaining. New body and say OK. Please note this one came in a different color. That makes no difference. There's my surface. Pick stitch. Pick the major body. The 290 and the one you just made. Say OK. And we now have no surfaces at all because it is a solid body. If I go back to my section, you'll see that it is solid. Thank you very much.